Good morning, everyone. It's been so long. I hope all of the best friends of the feather are doing well. Last time I checked, we were at 179 subscribers. Please do that if you haven't done so. I know I've slowed down on the videos, guys. I do apologize. Or maybe you're glad. It's hard to say. It's a toss-up. But there's a reason for that, isn't there, Fergus? Fergus knows the reason. I have been working my little fingers to the bone, trying to get the new homestead shaped up, and it's a long, arduous process. But in the interim, I wanted to show you something. So the Favrils, such fine, fine feathered friends. I love them. But JG does this thing. When I come down here, he probably won't do it now because I'm taping. But he does this thing where he like crouches, or she, I'm sorry, she, she crouches down. Like, <laughs> it's the funniest thing. And of course, she's not going to do it. But today is the day, friends, that we got this. The first Favreau egg. Favreau, Favreau, the first Favreau egg. I just got it today. I came down and snagged it. And it was right here. It was like right here. In the grass, of course, we had upper management built this wonderful, wonderful nesting box. They did not use it. It was right here in the middle of the dirt and grass. So I went up and washed it off and brought it back as evidence that yes, they are females and yes, they do lay eggs. Took forever, but we finally got one. Finally, finally. Yeah, as well as the, as well as the preparation for uh, building house, my, uh, my father has been t having some health issues that we are uh, trying to get to the bottom of. I think I got it figured out, but uh, between him, his doctor, and all of my sisters, I think we finally got it figured out. So that's been uh, consuming a lot of my time. But as you can see, everybody else is uh, spry and happy. Everybody's doing well. Haven't uh, haven't had any more mishaps. I have to battle the skunks when I come down here, though, because the skunks are living right here. Right there. <laughs> That's where the skunks live. So, the other night I came down to shut the, uh, shut the shed, and there were two of them toddling about back here in the backyard. And, of course, as, as soon as I shined the flashlight on them, they ran away. But... It's, uh, it's always a little unnerving to have a skunk near you. You just don't know what they're going to do. I really wish JG would do his little crouch thing. because it, Her little crouch thing. Because it's really funny. But it, I've been digging through my dad's garage, right? My dad and my grandfather built this garage in 1958. They started doing commercial work in 1959. And um, they continued that up until probably the mid-80s maybe. Um, yeah, probably early to mid 80s, they continued with that work. So the main part of the garage was built in 1958. The secondary part of the garage was built sometime between 1968 and 1970. It's got a solid concrete foundation that's, I don't even know how thick. It's built for commercial use. So it is a beast. Um, and there has been just, um, well, 60 years of collection. 60 years of intentions that are now uh, my responsibility. So I am cleaning it up and here goes. Oh, here she goes. See her crouching? Oh. <laughs> it's so funny. She crouches down like I, I just don't know why she does that. It's it's hilarious. It's the funniest thing. It's like her it's like her her fighting chicken stance or something. It's the funniest thing. But anyway, so I've been sifting through all of these things. And I'll tell you what, friends, it's a lot. I have worn every day I come home completely exhausted. Because it's not climate controlled. It's very hot. It's very humid. Um, it's very dusty. Very dirty. Very dank. It's got, the, the roof's got huge leaks in it. So, I, uh, when it rains, it's like waterfalls coming off the roof. Um... Just in one section. The whole thing isn't like that. But there's one section that the roof is pretty bad. And uh, 
So when, when we go out there and it's raining, it's like Niagara Falls. So I'm, uh, I'm making very good progress, but it's very slow. Um, it just takes forever to get through everything because you don't know what has value and what doesn't. I don't know what my father wants to keep and what he doesn't because I'm trying to keep that in mind as well because, you know, he's still here, so <laughs> he still uses that place, so um, it's been, uh, it, but it's been fun, so much fun seeing the stuff. There's stuff I see every day that I recognize from when I was a kid, and I remember things from when I was a kid. It's, uh, it's just, the, it's, it's, an, it's crazy, 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 crazy. The, um, it's like a, uh, it's like a time capsule. I found like my old bicycle license plate from when I was, uh, from when I was little, from Nags Head, North Carolina, that's right, representing. I've got that. Oh, just so much stuff, so much stuff. So yeah, it's really cool. Very cool stuff. So I don't know what I'm, I don't know if I'll be posting daily again or not. I don't know. I just don't know, guys. I'd like to say that I will be, but that might not be true um, because I am very, very busy with that. I get up, get ready, take care of my mom, and immediately go out there. I've got my son covering for me while I'm out there with my mom, which she's usually pretty good. She uh, she's very easy right now to to deal with, but. Um, and then I come back, make lunch, get ready for dinner, get dinner started, make dinner, and then go back out so that, um, so that I can get some nighttime work done because in the evening time, the morning time and evening time seems to be the best time to be out there because of the, uh, the heat. So today's really nice though. The humidity's not bad at all, but look, I, I saw on my, uh, the smoke is supposed to be really bad again today. It actually hasn't been that bad for the last couple, like for the last week, but it's supposed to be really bad again today. So we'll see how that goes. Hopefully out there in my my holler, I won't, uh, I won't be affected. That's right, I am officially holler folk. I've, I never was not holler folk, I guess. I was born out there, so I've always been holler folk. Oh goodness. Jeez, painful self-realization. I've been holler folk my whole life. It's okay. I'm okay with it. Holler folk are some good people. If you guys watch a lot of YouTube, there's this guy named Peter Santanello, and he goes around the country and does, uh, like, little documentaries on the different cultures in America, and he's just recently done one where he um, has been going through Appalachia, and he was in uh, Bluefield down around the southern part of the U.S., McDowell and uh, Wyoming and Allen, down in there, those counties, and uh, it's really good. He does some really good work. He went and visited, uh, like, the uh, Native Americans and the reservations out west. He's been to, like, the uh, the gang areas and some of the bigger cities. He's, he's a very interesting guy. He went and visited the Amish, which I thought was really cool. That was probably my favorite of his series that he's done. But yes, Peter Santanello, check him out. He's a pretty cool guy. Don't know him, never met him, couldn't tell you, but he seems cool. So, yeah. All right, everyone. I hope everyone has a great day. It's Monday. Have fun on your Monday. I'm going to go dig through some more dirty things and uh, see what I can find and uh, see how my daddy's doing. But yeah, everybody have a great day. Thanks, bye.